Hello, my name is Gion, and I just put together this new studio kind of thing. I think it's great. I got a place to record. I'm going to be making some videos about chaos magic, and uh, just to give you a little bit about my background. Uh, I know this is the kind of stuff that you can't really go to school for. There's not, I don't believe there's master's degrees in these uh, occult or chaos magic. I know there's a lot of academic study uh, for the things that I like um, beyond what would be known as K or talked about as chaos magic. Uh, my philosophy on chaos magic is, you know, as everything is chaos, we pick out what we want from the chaos and that becomes, you know, our magic, we, we, you know, everything is chaos. It's meaningless. Basically everything and nothing is chaos. If you cast, if you want to have chaos in your life, you, you can get anything. Anything can be chaos and nothing can be chaos. You pick out what you want from the chaos around you. You bring it into your reality. You bring it into your subconscious. You bring it into your astral world, bring it into your subconscious, whatever way you want it, whatever mechanism makes sense for you. And I'll go through all the different mechanisms in my class later. That's my philosophy on chaos magic. My background is I've been in the occult since I was a child. Uh, I had a family member die in front of me and uh, come back as a spirit and through those interactions, met other spirits. They kind of taught me uh, what to do uh, to not get in trouble with this too much. Um, I did mention this to a church that I was going to as a child, and I was told it was necromancy and to let it go. Don't, don't, don't. You know, it's bad. It's a sin or whatever. Um, it actually intrigued me, which is, you know, usually what happens when churches try to tell you not to do something. You get intrigued by it. So. So that led me to, you know, uh, Agrippa, uh, reading him, um, at, you know, before it was readily available on the internet. In the uh, 80s and 90s, I was reading these kind of books. I was reading, you know, different witchcraft books, different occult books to uh, try to understand more about the spirits and everything like that. That led to... Uh, other things in my life, there were all these things coming up about Thelema, Aleister Crowley, uh, my family's from Oklahoma, and we had an associate of the family was a major, uh, Grady McMurtry, who uh, was, you know, I had very brief interactions with. Uh, my family actually did not want me around him as a child. Uh, you know, he, I was uh, very young when, I believe he died in 1980. Uh, the early 80s and uh, but later on I found out what he was into and I found out it was the Lima and uh, looked into that and I had some interactions with the OTO I studied with Lan Milo Duquette I've done a lot with with magic and I, I know the classical forms and stuff like that uh, as well as how to turn that into chaos magic or how to how to make that more relevant um, because that is the main thing is I feel that there should be a relevancy to what you're looking to in your magic and not just looking about what maybe some people did you know, 600 years ago in secret as a supposed witch or what someone did, you know, a thousand years ago as a druid. You can only guess at that. And it's really not relevant to our modern society. We, if we came back with our cell phones and our knowledge to these people that we're trying to emulate, they would think we were gods or aliens. So, you know, I'm trying to pull everything together uh, and this is just the start so this is my introduction I uh, may be doing some other videos but my name is Gion and I'm gonna do a, I'm working on a project on chaos magic and I'll be making a series of videos so leave comments or questions I really want a lot of feedback on this I appreciate it and I'm out for now